basically there are three different types of bait we're going to use for our snapper fishing. There are pilchards and squid which we buy uh, and then there's I like to use fresh fish. Well there's a fourth actually you can buy frozen mullet, you can buy frozen bonito and the way we handle whole fish like mullet or bonito is the same whether they're frozen or fresh but I always prefer fresh if I can get it so number one fresh bait. And quite often we'll catch it you know we'll have a little um, those little jig flies and we'll put them over the side with a little bit of um, bit of scrap of bait on and we'll catch fresh yellowtails and you can you can treat them the same way for your bottom fishing as we do the fresh kawai or fresh mullet whatever we buy or catch you know I like to catch kawai that's good okay and uh, we'll start off by putting on the baits on the different rigs with two different rigs we've done okay down here we've got a fresh mullet okay now I bought this bought at the fish shop don't tell anybody but I actually bought a fish at the fish shop and I scaled it I leaned over the side of the boat scaled it with the back of the knife took the scales off now I'm just cutting little strips like this off the fillet as I go up the fillet and this we're going to use on our running rig. So we've got our, our hook running back to our trace to our running rig. And basically with that sort of bait you want a long thin bait rather than a square bait because a square bait will spin in the current and tangle your line and, and, and put, a, put a spin in it. So very simple. We've cut a little piece like this and we cut it again at an angle and that gives us a streamlined sort of bait and very simple we just put that through this is a size 6 hook put that through twice and there it is sitting like that the hook uh, in, the, in the meat side and a little bit hanging off the end and we'll throw that baby over and we've got our, uh, our overhead reel set up with our, uh, our clip-on sinker with that special little clip-on deal we use and uh, we're fishing here in about uh, 20 metres of water, just uh, on the edge of the Rakino Channel. And the reason I'm in here is that we're out of the wind, so we're here for the filming, not the fishing. But hey, you always put a bait in the water when you're in the boat, Jeffrey. So I'll just put that in the hold up. Over there, that could sit there while we do the next one. Now, this one I'm not going to throw over, but this is our, remember we did that double hook rig, and this is really for fishing in deep water, or if we're stray lining into uh, shallow water with floating baits, you could put a, a whole pilchard. I'm going to put, the way these hooks are, they're quite close together, I'm going to put them as uh, on, a, on a half a pilchard like this. And very simple, I just reverse that hook, go under the backbone, out the other side, so the point's sticking up, and the other one, hell, we just put it through the eye like that. So it's just sitting as simple as that. And that's the one that'll probably do the damage. This one is just to hold it. So you just work out the uh, the distance you need them, and you can throw that out or drop it into deep water. That's our stray lining one. I'm not going to use that here today. That was just to show you. There's many ways you can you can rig those up. Now, what we have here is our killer ledger rig. Remember the killer one, which is just a version, a variation of the um, the basic ledger rig, a bit fancier. We've got our our top hook on that single strand. Now. With a ledger rig, for your basic snapper fishing, most people overdo the bait. We don't put a whole pilchard or a half pilchard on a single hook on a ledger rig. Always use chunks, always. Very simple. We just cut a chunk and we put it through once and try and go under the backbone with the hook. That'll, that will stay on a bit more solidly than if you just go through the gut end or through the skin at the top. You've got the hook around the backbone, it'll stay on pretty well. But a, a chunk will work 10 times better than a whole pilchard or a whole squid. The other one we can do on this top one is a piece of squid and this works really well. The, um, the bit with the tentacles, let's put it through the, the thick part at the top, through here at the bottom like that and all the tentacles will hang down. That's a great hook for your ledger rig up in the air above the bottom. The other way you can do it with the squid is just to cut the squid into little pieces and again it's like a chunk you can put that through twice smaller is better that's a great bait but what I'm going to do here today is put our piece of uh, pilchard on and I'll tell you I'll show you another one I actually like the head because the head is very tough and will stay on pretty well and what we do is we put it through the skull which is between the eye and the back of the gill here about the middle there you'll go through the skull hold it firmly you can feel it great on the bones and it goes right through the bones 
the, the point is exposed, which it must be with all of your baits, the point's exposed, that's a good one. So that'll be the top one. The bottom one, remember we've got our sinker down here in the bottom hook, I'm going to use uh, another piece of mullet because I want something that is fairly tough and fish is a lot tougher than pilchard or squid and uh, it'll last better with the little ones around. So I'm mixing it up, two different baits. Okay, and we'll throw those over, off they go. This is uh, one of our overhead, as we said, the bottom uh, bottom fishing rig. This one's got a trigger grip, which is great for uh, for holding the rod with one hand. Okay, into free spool, we just drop it down. And when we're dropping it down, we point the rod down at the water where the, where the, where the line's going in. So it, the line runs down the rod and at a straight line into the water. If you hold it way up in the air, then the, the rod's going up and the line's going at a big angle down. It's not efficient. It won't run very well. And I like to be efficient. I like to get it down on the bottom quickly. And uh, when the fish are biting, which they're not yet, it's uh, early October and the fishing has actually been lousy. It's been wretched, too cold. But we're out here filming not fishing. So uh, once you hit the bottom, lift it up a little bit, yep she's on the bottom, into gear. I've got that pretty tight so it's hard to pull off. Okay and I'm going to put that in the rod holder because we've got other things to talk about. And I've got my uh, towel to uh, get all the guns off my fingers. Those are our basic, basic baits for all of our bottom fishing for snapper. I mean, some people use uh, shellfish and tie it on with cotton. That's actually going to do a lot of trouble. I don't bother with that sort of thing. I like to keep it simple. So cubes of pili, cubes of squid, or even cubes of fresh fish on your ledger rig, long, thin strips on your running rig, and that's basically it. Just go wait for the fish. <laughs>